All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Fanon. And in this video, we are going to talk about Floyd Mayweather, Al Heyman, and the PBC and how a big announcement is supposed to be coming out uh, related to the PBC. And let me tell you, man, it is probably going to be big because you have uh, you have another situation that, that took place with a big contract that was gotten by a much smaller promotional company, uh, Boxer, with NBC. Now, let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we're going to be in the 100 and uh, everything in boxing division, actually, uh, because uh, Andre Berto released a tweet yesterday. This is right on the back of Floyd Mayweather, CEO, uh, talking about the future of May of of the PBC and how the PBC was going to be shining. And Andre Berto was like, put out a tweet about Al Heyman. It was like, Al Heyman is a bad man. Y'all going to be really surprised. And so, of course, you know, I'm also looking at the other news out there in boxing, and there's a deal that's signed, which is a very under the radar deal by a promotional outfit called Boxer that is now going to be airing its fights on Peacock and select events on regular NBC. Now, before I get into the details of it as it relates to the PBC, uh, and uh, what's going to be happening with the PBC moving forward. Let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you are if you are a longtime subscriber and supporter, thank you guys so much for all your support. Thank you for your support and the super thanks, which really is a growing way on this channel to support uh, the videos and sponsor videos like this because we really don't get a lot of sponsors. We're not owned by a big corporation that that is you know that is paying the bills to get the videos done. So you guys support on this uh, what I believe to be very honest and straightforward. Um, uh, boxing forum is greatly appreciated. And the people that I usually mention in the videos are like got my guy, David Williams, who's a big sponsor of the channel. Thank you so much, David Williams. Can I tell you how much? And also uh, my guy, Cadillac 634 on the dough. See you back in the, in the live stream next time. But let's get into it. So there's rumors out there that or talk about what is going on with Showtime in boxing and the PBC in boxing. And there was news came out that the PBC, the Showtime did not renew their contract with the PBC. Now, I heard when I heard Steven Espinosa speak about it, he said that almost nothing that he has heard related to the what's going on with Showtime. Uh, and the PBC and their future in boxing is 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 close to what is actually going on behind the scenes. And they said and he said, until we know and are told otherwise, we're going to continue to do really big fights and keep going on just like we're going on. Leonard Ellerby was asked the same thing. Leonard Ellerby, who was the CEO of the CEO of Mayweather Promotions. And I'm telling you, the probably the best connection to at, but what's going on with the PBC as you can get short of talking to Al Heyman, who doesn't talk or Floyd Mayweather and Floyd Mayweather Jr., because they both are all three of those guys are partnered up. And I just think it's amazing how some not as many people show Leonard Ellerby the respect he deserves as a businessman and as a key, uh, key portion of that PBC of the PBC. Right. Which is why he's still doing talking on Gervonta Tank Davis's fights. Right. But what? But that, that aside, both of them are, are extremely bullish on which means they believe it's going to grow on both of their prospects. Right. And at, acting like, look, this is the by, by the way, this is the biggest year that these that either both of those parties have ever had. So or have had in a long time. Let me put it that way. I won't say ever had. It's the one of the best years that they both of these people, uh, both of those entities have had in a very long time and a much better year than anybody else has had 
this century. I don't know if ESPN at, at top rank has had a year like that this century. No joke. Or Match Room or anybody else. So it's real strange that everybody talks about them going out of business. Well, Andre Bertel came out and said that Al Heyman just did something that is going to blow people's minds. So what could that be? It's going to be a big TV deal is what it's going to be. Um, that's my belief, especially when it comes off you where you have other people that are connected to the PBC or, or in the know related to the PBC. Like uh, I won't say the name of the journalist, but there's a journalist that, that just coincidentally had to, coincidentally came out with a tweet. I'll say it. Paul Magno. <laughs> I think Paul Magno is has knows something, but he's not letting everybody know because he but whatever. I'll tell you what Paul Magno, who was up rights for fight hype, had to say Paul and is and has traditionally been very supportive of the PBC, at least as it is it. Uh, as it relates to the other media attacking uh, the PBC said, look, man, people really underestimate the tremendous value um, how much money can be made even off of a one hundred thousand uh, pay-per-view quote unquote flop and how it's much more complicated to understand what the money is and how valuable to major networks pay-per-view fighters are. So you're talking about guys like Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford. I mean, Errol Spence. Yeah, you're really talking about Terrence Crawford too. Errol Spence Jr., Terrence Crawford, Canelo Alvarez, Gervonta Davis, Deontay Wilder, and the value that these guys have. So when you add that to, and I know this is a little bit of a complicated video, but bear with me. I'll get to what I to what I suspect that it will be. Boxer, who I think is is ran or owned or managed by by Ben Shalom, just signed a deal uh, to promote boxers fights with Peacock and select fights with NBC. Now, if you did not notice the the several of the last pay-per-views were all put out this all of the papers this year on Showtime were put out by CBS. So you very well could have a situation where Al Heyman has struck a deal where you're going to be able to see these some of these pay-per-view fighters, the people on the undercars of these pay-per-view fights that are made available through CBS directly and able to have this out available to free TV on free TV. And if you didn't notice that or if you don't recall, that was one of the first original models that that. um Al Heyman and the PBC were going after, which was roundly ridiculed by the major by boxing media for some crazy reason, even though that's exactly what people were saying needs to happen to grow boxing. So you get back on regular TV, you're able to put fights back on regular TV and have fighters that are upcoming, like like just like happened with Errol Spence, when Errol Spence Jr. was on CBS and had six million people watch him on CBS Right now, it came off of CBS, but if you go back on CBS and you have the deals with the Amazon Prime or whatever, man, that absolutely positively makes a, for a, gr a very, very good news for boxing and is a way that the PBC will continue to go and grow because people in the, it, like a lot of people that really criticize the PBC are always looking at Al Heyman and looking at looking at Floyd Mayweather Jr. At, no, the Mayweather promotions, but not looking at the fact that these are some of the best known and anticipated athletes in the sporting world. Gervonta Davis and Canelo Alvarez are two of the biggest names in all of the sporting world and, and a sport that's an iconic sport. So look, man, I think this big thing is probably going to wind up being very good for boxing because most times people don't shut down things that have been tremendously successful. They continue to try to find a way to grow it and take advantage of it. And the reason that that contract may not have been renewed could have been it could have been um, as much as part of the PBC trying to get something extra as it would be Showtime or CBS not trying to do business with them. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.